Nice Bonneville there. A real one, you might say. Well folks, it's been a while, hasn't it? I've been doing the Round Britain Rally. And uh, that's involved Webley, Michaela and Johnny. It's about the middle of September as I ride and we've just been out for a couple of things warming up again funny day today it's uh, it started off quite overcast and now it's warm I've got the thicker gloves on thicker jacket on I did have a jumper on I've put that in the pan here so it's a bit of a what's the weather going to do sort of day but it is a nice day overall it's running about uh, 15 degrees yeah I've been doing the round Britain rally so I can't um, release any of those videos and give away the questions or answers until the end of the rally they'll be coming soon enough what six weeks i suppose we're just coming through uh well almost through it really west malvern if it wasn't for all the traffic and the parked cars it this half would be a very nice run as well but the first half is uh, very nice from uh, sally's place british camp to West Malvern itself that's a nice run although the road service is a bit iffy at the moment and you can see that in one of the great drives and rides videos so this is just a, a catch-up really uh, there ain't a great deal to catch up on because we went through a lot of things like servicing and tyres last year we haven't done anything like that this year I don't think uh, I don't think we have although several bikes will be due very soon i'll leave the other bikes to their own videos but uh, regarding webley we've got about uh, 500 miles before we have to do the next service and that will basically be an oil and filter change a check over make sure everything's as it should be uh, check the air filter the valves will be done at the following service the valves are only going to be done every other service now after experience and having the valves adjusted several times in quite quick succession going back what 18 months now i suppose it is a bit of an experiment i suppose but we've um i say we lee at triumph tech we've uh, uh, done the inspection if you like and uh, or rather he has and uh, checked the adjustment between uh, several adjustments due to the weepy seal on the uh, engine top cover and uh, that's fine now there's no issues with that at all it's been several several thousands of miles now but uh, it did mean that the valves had to be checked and adjusted if necessary several times in a row needless to say it wasn't that long after the last service that they were done so I said to Lee I says check them again and basically they hadn't shifted well not much so we thought right we'll get a test so our next service which will be well just over 90,000 miles just a general service really it'll be the next one at approximately 22,000 miles that we'll do the valves or at least check them again and then we'll really know then now the way we've just come is not a bad little cut off to save going up the A449 to British Camp there is all the parked cars of course at this side of West Malvern but other than that it's not uh, a bad road we're just dropping down now to Malvern Link there's been uh, 
few bikes about, not many. I'll come out via um, Umbersley and Holt Fleet and Holt Heath. Ah, Triumph TR6. Yes, via Holt Heath, and uh, there's a couple, might even be three calves in the top barn area the sort of activity centre place and I saw one advertised it's called the Hilltop Calf and I did try it and not bad not bad first time there oh distracted look at this for a Victorian post box look how ornate that is lovely isn't it first time at this Hilltop Calf and uh, it's there's a bit like a small business centre industrial estate um, round the back of Top Barn if you like and uh, yes it's all right limited seating inside uh, there's a bit more seating outside in fact there's probably more seating outside than inside the grub was good had um, I forget what they called it but it's basically a double cheeseburger with gherkins and very nice the chips were nice as well uh, the coffee was at best average though but it was something like 12 pounds something for the two which I suppose not too bad these days i'm not going to put it on the recommended list though until i've had another visit that's going to be the new rule because sometimes you could just place isn't it's great and the next time it's rubbish so it's not bad but when i left probably 300 yards down the road on the left there's a wildlife park sort of place and uh, the sign for that says tea room so that's another one to try the trouble is normally when I'm coming out from home that area is a bit too early in the ride if I'm coming this way and the reason why I stopped was twofold it was after 12 o'clock and I hadn't had anything to eat since uh, the evening before and I knew or rather I thought I knew because it nearly always is the case that Sally's place at British Camp would be rammed on a weekend so I stopped for the burger uh, and even though it was still quite filling and sitting quite heavy I got to British Camp and Sally's place was uh, well I didn't have to queue at all went straight to the counter I had to force a couple of um, well I had to force one rock cake down the other ones for later and a cup of tea which was nice because it's usually mad there on a Saturday and Sunday if anybody's got any tips I don't suppose you can see that down there down there there's the um, the rubber for the front brake hose right by the top of the fork gator on the left there it's the second one I've had on it's forever popping out its clamp when you compress the forks quite a bit like say we need to get off uh, the centre stand maybe or braking fairly firmly and of course the rubber then gets damaged and then it pops out even easier and I've got tape round it and then to pinch the rubber slightly more not the hose just the rubber I put a cable tie round it well it's lasted a while but it's the rubber's almost at it now and uh, I've put it in once today and it's almost out again so if anybody's got any tips for that but the trick is doing it without taking the hose off and having to bleed the brakes again that's the trick so if anybody's got any tips on that that would be great I think that's more niggly than the seat which I've been having fun with the seat as well now I had the touring seat I put a new touring seat on uh, and I just don't find it as comfortable as uh, well not that it was that comfortable so I've put the air or cushion back on messed with that but the other day I was out in the pouring rain and I got my waterproofs on adding a little bit of extra layer for my backside and I thought oh that's 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 a little bit better so today because uh, you know it's cooling off a bit although it's funny enough it's warmed up a bit the last day or so compared it's been like 10 degrees uh, earlier this week we uh, We have been looking around. I know there's some places to do some uh, re-upholstering and refilling of foam, recovering and all that, but fairly locally there's a certain Royal Enfield parts supplier who has them already done based on the original seat with extra foam 
and recovered the trouble is I'm 190 quid now generally in my experience that part supplier doesn't do rubbish but it's still 190 quid and I'd like to see what it's like a bit before I spend me hard earned but today because it's a little cooler I've put me slightly padded trousers on and that's helped a lot I mean sometimes I get on with my thin trousers and it's like half an hour and it's like oh I've had enough well almost that but uh, today we've done all right we've done all right indeed we're supposed to be going to uh, M&M 4x4 at Droitwich Spa the trouble is uh, with the uh, burger stop and the uh, rock cake stop I've got uh, nine minutes to get there and I haven't got to Worcester yet <laughs> so that ain't gonna that ain't gonna happen we're after some new wheel nuts it's a lovely day it turned out really nice it was like it was the well I wouldn't say the end of the earth when I left but it was pretty overcast and gloomy but it's lovely now really nice you have to wave or nod it's the law all being well we should be out in a few days time as well because we're still doing some round Britain rally stuff the question is which bike one of two I think Webley Mark 2 because it's easy to carry stuff or Johnny because I think she's only been out once on the RBR this year the question is now because I've done all the local ones the question is where to go now I could head towards Suffolk and just pop into uh, <coughs> Andy Tiernan's <laughs> sorry Andy Tiernan's but that you know that's dangerous isn't it let's be honest that is that is dangerous I mean it's <laughs> The old wallet starts to sweat. I think it's about time that uh, the other half let me put a bike in her garage again. Over the team and the site of the Battle of Worcester when Charles II come back tried to take the country back from the people he didn't okay it wasn't perfect but uh, it was sort of the end of the beginning of democracy for the most part because we all know that democracy isn't perfect but yeah we go through uh, part of Worcester we don't want to go through the city the uh, proper city bit because uh, that's a bit sluggish but we do have to cross the River Severn so we'll go this way we'll pass New Road Cricket Ground well almost you can't see the uh, picturesque bit from the road but you might see a bit of the cathedral because it is fairly tall but this way is much quicker because uh, you cross the river you sort of like well you sort of like just it's, it's almost acts a bit like a ring road I suppose you might say uh, this little bit and over the river under the railway bridge past Ducati Worcester Ah, there's a thought. Should we pop in? Still, they don't do nothing I fancy these days, and I think I'm beyond paying 16 to 20 grand plus for a motorbike. <laughs> That's the trouble when you've, um, for the most part, been used to paying anywhere between four and what was uh, I think Johnny was the most expensive other than Michaela that was 5-1 I think and when you get used to that it's hard to uh, to spend <laughs> more than that try I've tried it 900 nice I'll be looking where I'm going but you may be able to see the cathedral marvellous try and keep an eye on the lights mind that's the best view I've seen of the cathedral for a long time I wonder if they've trimmed the hedges down a bit that's beautiful probably the best view most picturesque view from a cricket ground well certainly uh, I can say this first division cricket ground and touch what it looks like Worcester staying up that's a first for a few years hey hi bridge is looking nice
I think that Merc's looking for an accident. <laughs> Vapors. We've had like it if I chuck dog through their car window, see how they like it. Ducati Worcester. Used to be the Rover garage many moons ago. So uh, the main part of Worcester is behind us now. We're going to hit the A38 in a bit, which is dull. That's it for now. It's a little tedious skin out of Worcester, so we'll leave it there. Just a little catch up and a bit of a ride on this lovely day. The first episode of this year's Round Britain Rally airs the first Friday of November at 9am. See you again soon.